coming at you with another video series. Yup, new video series today. Yep. We're going to be getting drunk while talking about DMT. Wee 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 wee. Well, let me get started. I'm gonna go grab my Jaeger and my cigarettes, and let's let's get started. video we're not stopping we're not stopping this fucking video till till all this Jaeger right here is in my stomach okay well I guess we could start off with a king cobra well hmm yeah Wait, no, no, no. Beer before liquor, never been sicker. Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. Okay, yeah, yeah, I almost messed up. I almost messed up, guys. I almost fucked up my stomach. I'm not trying to die, I'm trying to have a good time. Woo! <laughs> well, DMT is one of those things, it's like, it's really hard to explain, but like, I can explain it pretty well. I've had, I've had some good trips in my day. Okay. Cheers, everybody. We'll make sure you tell, drop below in the comment se section what you're drinking on right now. Okay, let's let's start. I'm trying to think of a very recent trip. People talk about DMT as something really spiritual and shit like that, but like, no. Nah. <laughs> like I had this trip. It was like it was like flying geometrical dicks and saxophones, and I was like, ah! and I just I had to open my eyes. You know, I normally keep my eyes closed the whole time, but like I saw fucking dicks, literal fucking dicks, tripping on. Fucking Deeves, bro. That like, shit is terrible. Like, I was like, I was in this like, one time, I was this god, bro, and I was making these people, you know, and like they um, I kept creating them, and like over time, I created this planet, this earth, and I was like, am I god? And then I was like, oh, I'm an angry god, and then I started fucking. <laughs> just destroying the civilization that I created, bro. It was fucking badass. Like, I've had multiple, like, one time I had this trip where me and, me and this dude were both sitting right next to each other, you know, and we were fucking having the same exact trip, you know, we, just, we explained everything. It was like a circus, bro, with clowns and, like, fucking spinning fucking... You know what's it called? The circus tent? It's like a circus tents everywhere, but they're like spinning and rotating. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take some I'm gonna drink some of this, and I'm gonna get back in another one. Just saying so you know, it. I put I put quite a bit of Jaeger in the in this. My first breakthrough. Well, my first breakthrough, I was sitting in, I could show you the room. I was sitting in this room right here. You know, I was just sitting, I was sitting on that couch right there, that blue and green couch. And um, I took a big ass rip, and then right before I finished it, um, Blah blah blue blue said um <laughs> I'm sorry I can't I can't release people's names but blah blah blue blue said I gave I think I gave him too much man oh shit <laughs> I think I overdosed you and then I'm like 
oh shit I, my brain turns into a liquid bro like i feel i feel my fucking brain dripping and i'm like <laughs> and like this shit is crazy whack it's wacky but wacky like some wacky tobacco <laughs> <laughs> you know that shit, man. And then I opened my eyes. My eyes weren't even closed, bro. The whole walls was just fucking melting, bro. Literally melting. It was like dripping down onto the floor, the wall. And like... I mean, I, I think I've talked enough about DMT. I need to get a I need to write a script if I'm going to talk about more about DMT. Or I might do... I might actually smoke it on a live stream. So I could explain the trip when I'm in the trip, you know? But, like, I'm going a, I'm to a th think about a good story as I sip this Jaeger, okay? Y'all, cheers, cheers, sip your drink, sip your drink. But right before that, let's get a little hydrated squad, you know? When this is a hydration squad, you know? Get you a little hydration, you know, take you a sip of water, whatever you want. Sink water, if you don't have water, Gatorade, whatever, bro. Get fucking hydrated. Okay. Whew, my first acid trip. Okay, my first acid trip. It started off a normal day, you know, like a normal day for me, you know, I'm looking, trying to get high, you know, I'm like around 15 or 16, I can't really remember, but like, I was waiting and like, my buddy hits me up. He's like, hey, bro, you got, you want to do some acid? I'm like, sure, man. And then he's like, there's only two hits. And then my, my best friend goes to get it from my other friend. And then like, he fucking, or they're both my best friend, but you know, you know how, you know how it is. And, and like, he goes to get this acid and then my homie's tripping with my homie, but the other but like only one of them's paying for the acid and I have ten dollars on me and I'm like hey bro can I buy that hit off you and they only have two hits and there's two people but of course he says yes because then he technically got a free hit you know and then like after that like he he left all mad because he didn't get the trip but I mean I, I, I paid for it you know but still I took this acid okay just sitting in my room this or yeah <laughs> My first time doing acids in the same room that first did DMT. This room right here, dog. This room right chill. That room right chill. <laughs> Fuck it. It was fucking badass. Okay, just sit. Just fucking sit, bro. And like, everything starts to feel weird and keep in mind this is my first acid trip so it's always the most intense. I'm like, I'm uh, just sitting there waiting and then my body starts to feel all tingly. You know that acid feeling when your body is like it kind of feels like you're not you, you know, like you're someone else. And like, I, I take it. And then like, I, the first question that hit my mind is something that my mom and brother have told me for like a lot of my life because they're like, I grew up in a hippie house, you know, like everyone trips and shit. But like, and like, the first thought in my mind, what is time? <laughs> and that's what they were telling I heard them say that so fucking much. Like, what the fuck is time, bro? Like, what time is it? And you like, watch the clock. It'll be like 12.30 for three days. <laughs> You'll be, and like, you start sweating. And this is the come up. And like, you're just, you're just sweating your balls off. And then you're feeling tingly. And then the peak comes around. Slowly creeps up on you. About like three three hours or like two hours after you take the tab some people it takes longer just depends the chemical you're taking because there's a real difference between acid and lsd like acid could be any chemical that you put on like a blotter paper bro like L pure lsd is like this is what i'm talking about i'm not talking about random research chemicals i'm like i'm looking in the mirror and my home is right here like, I don't care if, i don't think he he cares if i say his name i'm just gonna call him czar and like czar is right here and like, we're looking in the mirror, bro. And my face is like, cool, cool, cool. Fucking changing sizes and all that shit. And that fucking shit, crazy. I spent like two hours on the peak just staring at the fucking mirror with my face changing sizes and shit. And it was fucking amazing. 
And like I woke up in the morning and then it was like six o'clock. I called my big brother. I was like, what is time? <laughs> he just busted out laughing. Did you do Aspen? I was like, yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> and that's that that's my first acid trip. I wonder if I could I'ma drink this Jaeger as I think of another story. If you got a drink right now, I want you to fucking send it, bro. I want you to fucking annihilate that drink. Cheers. Ooh. That was a spicy one. More, more Jaeger than Red Bull, man. It's disgusting. But, okay, let me think. My first time smoking weed, oh. Classic, first time smoking weed, bro. I'm with my, I'm sitting in my house, you know, I see, I, I'm like, okay, no, I'm like 10 years old, not gonna lie. I'm 9, 10, or 11, something around that age range, you know, so like, you know, way too young to be fucking smoking weed. If you're fucking under the age of 16, do not fucking smoke weed, fucking stop it, stop it right now, fucking Put that fucking joint down right now. <laughs> it went to get older, bro. But anyway, but I, I was, I was puffing on, I was puffing on, or no, no, I, I just skipped the whole section of the story. Okay, rewind, 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 rewind. Okay, I'm at my house, you know. I see my mom and Jimmy smoking on some weed, you know. My mom and her boyfriend, you know, and like. I, I see these, I see the joint, and like I begged them, I was begging them, just please, please give me the roach, but please give me the roach, please, and then my friend Donnie, he, he fucking begging too, please, and then finally she gives us like two or three roaches, and then she says, get on now, <laughs> leave, him, leave me alone, <laughs> and then I'm like, thank you, mom, thank you, you won't regret this, and I get, we get a can, right? It takes some convincing, like, Donovan has to convince me to smoke it, you know, because I, I'm still a good kid at this point, you know? This is, like, before I did anything, but, like, I did a little Xanax every once in a while when I was that young, but that's just because, like, you know, I grew, I grew, I grew up kind of fucked, you know? Like, I didn't have any, like, people to look up to. I didn't have anyone to show me examples, you know? And, like, I, I took this, I just fucking rip the can you know what i'm talking about like a fucking soda can with a hole in it fucking dug on top i hit it fucking i'm playing gamecube fucking turok evolution y'all know what gamecube is y'all some of y'all probably too young to even know what that fucking is but like i'm sitting here playing this gamecube and i i normally wreck it this game and like we're just running in circles like we're we're not even fucking playing the game right we're just laughing and i get stuck I, I keep getting stuck in these, like, modes where I'll say something and I'll repeat it for, like, an hour, just high as shit, like, ten years old. Like, one was, fish, 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 I just did that for, like, an hour. Ugh. And it was, like, pretty lit. But then I threw up at the toilet. And like I, I didn't want to smoke weed after that, but y'all know how that y'all know how that is. If, like if you smoke weed when like you're that young, of course you're gonna throw up, bro. It's too intense for a kid, you know. And let me sip this Jaeger while I think of another first time story. I'm gonna be annihilating all of those today. I'm gonna be annihilating all the first time stories, bro, in this one video. Next one's gonna be first time smoking K2 slash spice, or like at least the mes most like memorable time. By the way, I don't condone any of this. I am not admitting, I am not admitting to anything. I do not confess to any of these. This is for entertainment purposes only. And this is totally all made up, yo. You know, if, if there's a if there's a government dude watching our police, you know, fuck you, fuck you, fuck the police, co suck my dick, bruh, suck my fucking dick police. Yeah, fucking bitch ass police. Oh well. 
But that, that Jaeger bomb hit, bro. I'm fucking feeling it. I am fucking zooting. I'm zooting, le scooting, le druzing, bro. I just put it all in there, bro. I just put it all in there. Too much Jaeger, not enough Red Bull. Okay. First time smoking K2 slash spice. <laughs> you know what that is, Joe, you know, the devil's weed, whatever you want to call it, bro. <sighs> My friend, I had an old friend, uh, I'm gonna call him um, 12 Gauge, and 12 Gauge, 12 Gauge, he, um, he had a um, stepdad, you know, he was a cop, but he liked smoking weed, you know, but he couldn't smoke weed because he was a cop and he got drug testing and shit, so he would always be smoking that K2 or Spice, whatever. We didn't know the difference between weed and fake weed, you know, at the time we're like 13, 12, 11, whatever, we're like, we're little ass kids, bro, I'm like, this dude, we, we went to go, like, steal some fucking, um, roaches from his car because, like, we always knew, like, we saw him smoking his shit, but, like, we... We never went to ask him, you know, because what if what would you do if like a little ten year old kid goes up to ask you, hey bro, can I hit that? You finna say hell nah, G. <laughs> That's just how it works. It's just life, bro. Okay. And like, I was just chilling, and we asked like um, he twelve gauge. He had a little he had a little brother, and like. We'd ask his little brother to steal the roaches, and he'd go steal the roaches. Like, this kid had to be, like, six or seven at the time, you know? Or like, it doesn't really matter, but he would steal the roaches for us, and we'd get him, like, $2 or, like, some kind of candy or some shit like that, so he'd do it, you know? And then, like, we just, we smoked these roaches, bro. And, like, the first time I did it, bro, <laughs> now that I think about it, I was in this room right here. <laughs> This room again, bro. This way every single fucking time, bro. And like, we just like sitting in that room. And then they pass me. They pass me the can. You know, I go to hit the can. Mmm. What is this? Some OG Kush? And they're like, Nah, man. This, this, that yellow shit. And it's like, fuck. Like, it's not even green, bro. It's just yellow. Literally just fucking yellow. And like, I fucking hit this shit. My vision goes yellow, I swear to fucking God. Like, my vision goes yellow. Everything I see turns fucking yellow. <laughs> like, I have my phone in my hand, and then, like, my friend goes to pick it out of my hand, because I'm like, at this point, I hit the K2, I'm like 12, just fucking, like, seizuring out and shit. And, like, these fucking niggas, he grabs my phone, and then he goes to look at it. Oh, you got a girlfriend, huh? And then I grab my phone, I'm like, And I fucking throw it this fan right here when the fans moving bro. I throw my phone on the fan It smashes into fucking pieces, bro. And like I'm like, oh shit. I really just did that That shit's crazy, bro. And like the second time we did it, bro. I was sitting in that room right there We, we smoked a whole blunt of this shit. Keep in mind first time it was a roach And like we smoked this whole blunt and like we walked to the we walk to a spillway down here. There's like a little fishing spot. Like we like to go fishing there. And like, there we we fucking start fishing and shit. And like this shit starts kicking in heavy, bro. And they, okay, this is exact. I don't remember this that well, but my friends tell me this story like they remember it yesterday. We all three were sitting at the bridge. Me, twelve gauge, and Donnie. We were just sitting there. And then I was like this repeatedly for a whole hour. Stay low. Stay low. I just do 
do that for a fucking hour, bro. <laughs> I done lost my shit off that spine, bro. That twacky, that twacky weed got me whacking, bro. <laughs> and then I fucking sit in there and fucking... And then come back. I don't remember much else from it. <laughs> but, like... I'm a... I'm a think of another story as we sip on some alcohol, okay? Y'all y'all get the drink. Y'all, y'all get a drink, you know? You know, whatever you're smoking, whatever you're... Drinking, you know, if you don't drink, smoke, you know, hit hit a bowl, something like that. But, you know, cheers anyway. Cheers, bro. That uh, needs some more Red Bull. There's not enough Red Bull in that Jaeger mom. I think that this is the, this is going to be the end of this video, but like we're going to be doing this again in the future. This is a new series. I start, I talk about stories as I, as we sip some alcohol, bros. And I'm so, I'm so happy that you made it this far through the video. I really appreciate it, bro. Like I, from the bottom of my fucking heart, I appreciate it because like I'm trying to, I'm really trying, bro. Like I really want to make it in YouTube, you know, like I, I don't even care if I make money. I just want people to like enjoy my videos you know like enjoy my stories you know because like I, I get tired of telling these stories a million times in real life you know so go to my go to my youtube bro fucking watch these stories bro i'll, I'll catch you in the next video octubular why <laughs> octubular vibes bro i would appreciate if you liked and subscribe catch you in the next video peace